Hi everyone, it's Renee. Welcome back to this DIY. Today we're going to be making this really cool and industrial looking necklace. I found this idea online and I wanted to give it a try because I love the concept. But before we start, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to start with a piece of polymer clay. The color I'm using is yellow and the brand is the Sculpey Tree. So I'm just going to roll it until I have like a snake or a sausage. And it depends, the size depends on how big or small you want your bar to be in your necklace. But uh, this is just comparing to a toothpick. This is what it looks like. And since I do own a, you know, clay conditioning machine, which is pretty much a pasta machine, I'm just going to use that one. And the setting is going to be number five. But if you don't have a pasta machine, it's not like essential. You can use a roller as well and just roll it until you have like the thickness you like. I'm just going to take a ruler and my exacto knife and I'm just going to cut a fairly big piece just because I want my edges to be uh, neat and straight as I can make them. And then I'm just going to cut the edges to make it square looking or not square, rectangular looking. And now, because I want my bar to be just like empty in the inside, like a kind of a tunnel, I just need to put something in between my clay to just make it that shape. So I'm just going to be taking this uh, barbecue stick, kind of wrap it around uh, some wax paper or parchment paper. But just remember, the softest part has to be outside. So the softest part has to have contact to, with the clay. You're going to see in a minute what I mean by that. I chose to use this barbecue stick is because this I can put it on the oven. Just look for something that is going to be okay in the oven to, to put in. That's why I chose this one so I can show you an easy way to do it. I'm just going to place my clay all around it and make sure your parchment paper is like longer than your clay because when you try to take it out it's going to be easier to peel it off. You're going to see what I mean in a second once we actually go ahead and bake it and try to make all those um, two edges meet at some point. And then what I did as well is just went over with my toothpick just to smooth those uh, where those two ends meet and just trying to cover the whole thing. And you're going to find out that, you know, using a toothpick leaves like marks. That's when I went with my uh, parchment or wax paper just to smooth the whole thing in and just going to make everything just like blended and like nothing happened there. So once we have everything wrapped, we're just going to take our exacto knife and we're just going to roll our barbecue stick and just cut the edges to make them like pointier and smoother and just kind of more symmetrical. Then I'm just going to bake this according to my package instructions and I'm just going to peel my clay. And this is what I meant when I said before that make sure your wax or parchment paper is longer than your clay is going to be easier for you to take it off. Okay, it's time for us to paint it. To paint it, I'm just going to be using this really awesome liquid leaf that I bought at Michael's and it's called Florentine Gold. And to paint it, I'm just going to be showing you two ways of doing it. Whichever you prefer. One is with you know a brush and just going all the way step by step here because you're just going to have to wait until you can turn this um, upside down to just move on to the other side to paint it. But the problem that I found with this one is that the inside is still not painted. You can always use a thin brush and go inside with your thin brush. However, I'm just going to be painting the whole thing using this method. I'm just going to open my paint and taking advantage that the shape is like this. I'm just going to dip my bar in the paint. I'm going to remove the excess and I'm just going to let it dry. And once that part is dry, I'm just going to do the same on the other side that is not painted. That way, both inside and outside uh, gets painted at the same time. And to finally make this thing a necklace, we're just going to be needing a chain, one clasp and two jam rings. And then I'm just going to open my jam ring using two pliers. My chain goes in like that. And then my clasp goes in as well like that. And then close the whole thing doing the same thing. So that is one side. The other side is going to be the same pretty much. We're just going to place our chain through the, through the necklace, which I call the, the tunnel. I'm just going to open my jump ring. 
place my chain in and then close my jam ring and that's pretty much it I really hope you enjoy it. I love it. I think it looks super edgy and kind of industrial and kind of like super cool. And I want to give it a set try. If you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of it. And yeah, talk to you later. Bye guys.